Here is today's word of blessings for you. Matthew 13 44-48 The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again, and then in his joy went and sold all he had and bought that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. When he found one of great value, he went away and sold everything he had and bought it. Once again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was let down into the lake and caught all kinds of fish. When it was full, the fishermen pulled it up on the shore. Then they sat down and collected the good fish in baskets, but threw the bad away. Today's title is The Hidden Treasure. One of the greatest characteristics of the gospel of Jesus Christ is its free offer of salvation. Such a free offer of salvation was totally unprecedented. All the other religions so far offered salvation based on some merits. So the gospel of Jesus Christ set free people completely from the heavy burden of merits. It made salvation available to everybody. It seemed that the salvation of all mankind became finally a realistic goal now. But in reality, not everybody gets saved. Why is it so? Some refuse such a generous offer of salvation as something unreal. Others would take it mindlessly without really appreciating its value. Jesus did not oversight it. His gospel was offered freely not because it lacked in value but because nothing of man can measure up to the value. Indeed, the freely offered salvation of God was purchased at the costly sacrifice of the most precious blood of the Son of God. Although we receive salvation freely by grace, we need to be aware of the value of the gospel. Otherwise, we may never fully enjoy the true power of the salvation. Today's passage contains three short anecdotes. All three anecdotes are really focusing on one very crucial point. How do you treasure the gospel of Jesus Christ and his kingdom? How do you appreciate God's grace and love? It is the most precious gift with matchless values. Out of many earthly possessions, it is the only thing that will remain forever. But most people do not eagerly accept the free offer of salvation. Some who accepted the offer does not seem to really appreciate it in Jesus' time. Jesus must be greatly concerned about such an attitude of the people. Unfortunately, we see the same attitude of people in our time too. The gospel of the kingdom of heaven is being preached everywhere. But not many people heed to it. Some just take it half-heartedly. As a result, they never get to know the true joy and peace of the gospel. How about you? Are you truly appreciating the gospel of the kingdom of heaven? Are you truly enjoying the joy, peace, and power of the gospel? Then, you have the most precious treasure hidden in your soul. You have the finest pearls of heaven and earth. But what about the others? Are you filled with compassion about them like Jesus? We should. Amen. Thank you.